it's Renee. Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I know that I just recently, not too long ago, did a try on in the dressing room at Target, but I wanted to do this one because my sister was telling me about this and there is a brand new clothing collection at Target right now. It is called Wild Fable and it is incredibly 90s inspired. When you're looking around at everything, there's tons of plaid, there's corduroy, there's just everything, I feel like, from the 90s, maybe more like late 80s, early 90s to mid 90s style there. And everything, I, the second that I walked into the store, I was like, I want everything in sight. I want it all. I want to buy everything here. But I think it is a really cool brand because even though not everything in store comes in plus size, nearly all of the items come in plus size. They just may be found online, but they do come in from a size 14 to a size 24, but a lot of the items are very stretchy and very comfortable. So if you're more in that kind of 28 realm, maybe like a 30 realm, I do think that a lot of the more stretchy items would work for you, which is nice. But what's really cool about a lot of these pieces is that I was feeling them. They all have a very like thick, more expensive kind of a feel to them. And that's really nice because a lot of the times with stuff from Target, even though it can be a little bit more expensive, it can deteriorate quickly. But the cool thing about this is that a lot of this stuff is kind of like Forever 21 pricing, but the actual like material or like the garments themselves have more of a not quite I would say torrid quality, but I would say actually quite close. Like I feel like they're just way nicer than Forever 21 stuff, and they're a lot nicer than a lot of the plus size stuff that's typically found at Target, which is like the Ava and Viv collection or Universal Thread or whatever other one. I think that it is such a cute collection. I was obsessed with everything that I saw. And I just think that everything's very cute and it's, again, very affordable. I will leave a time on the screen, which you should have seen at the beginning. If you want to skip straight to the try-ons, I tried on, I think, about 9 or 10 things. And, yeah, I just think everything's very cute and it took all my willpower not to buy more things. I did buy or a couple of items that I will be featuring in a haul later. And, yeah, if you would like to see this try-on, again, at the beginning of this, I'll have a time. This way, if you want to skip straight to the try-ons, feel free to. If not, I will have half of all the footage that I took on this end of the video and then at the end of the video if you just want to skip there too you can see the rest of the footage that I took because literally it's a huge huge collection at least at my target it was and I was just like this is insane this is the biggest like collection drop I've seen there in a long time. Okay, so for the first Wild Fable item, I grabbed these kind of like dark, very dark black distressed jeans. They aren't super distressed looking when they're on me, but you can see the raw hem at the bottom. I will say that if you are taller than me, these will definitely be shorter on you because they were like the perfect length on me and I'm only 5'4". But I do think that they're very cute. They're comfortable. They are high-waisted, which are like my ideal choice of jeans. And I think I really like how we're kind of embracing the whole mom jean look again because high-waisted jeans are the best jeans. But yeah, these are cute. You can't really see the distressing on them, but there is some distressing on the knees. They're a little bit more apparent on, like, the model, but, like, I feel like if you wear them and you just can't really see them, but they're charging you for the distressed price, I don't know. It's kind of confusing that way. 
And then for the next item, this is just kind of like a wine colored crop top. It's one of those ones that's kind of made out of like a full elastic. So it is very stretchy. This I grabbed in a 4X and the jeans were actually in a size 26. But I think it's very cute and very comfortable. It has spaghetti straps. So I mean, it's not very like school appropriate if you are in like public school and everything. But it is super comfortable. It's lots of stretch. And since there is a lot of stretch, I think that it could fit you if you are more along, along lines of like a 5X or like a 28. Whereas I'm typically like a 24, 26. But yeah, I think that it's very cute and very comfortable. I like it stuff like this, like with crop tops. It's a little hard to wear just because you do need like, usually I would wear like a strapless bra with this, but I do think it's very pretty and it is very cute. So again, here's just like another crop top. This one is just black and white with very thin stripes in a horizontal fashion. And I do think this is a very comfortable shirt because it's a little bit longer of a crop. The thing I don't like is that because of the sizing and how it works is that, I don't know if you can ever really tell along the sides, like if you were, if I were to like really like move my arms, you can fully like see my bra on the sides which like isn't like a bad thing because a bra is just a bra but I don't know it's just one of those things where there should be enough fabric to where it can cover all the way I do think it's very comfortable though it's very stretchy and it is again very on like that 90s kind of a theme but yeah I do kind of just wish that it wasn't I wish it was just more fabric in the boob area because typically if you're a size 4 or a size 4x you your bras typically would show underneath just because of the size of your chest not always but sometimes now for another crop top. I love this one because it is like a very pretty lavender purple color and it also has red, black, and white stripes going across it. And it's just very cute. It's more of a shorter crop top, but it has these like really fun like poof sleeves and then it goes off the shoulder. I'm a really, really big fan of this because it really just does remind me of the 90s. Again, very stretchy, very comfortable. I feel like you could wear this with a skirt or with some jeans or some shorts, really with anything. It's just a very like versatile and like fun top and it really works well because you can wear it still in like the summertime because it's like a lighter color but it has some fall like jewel tones in it. So it's a really good like transitional piece to like have for this time and then to have going into the fall. It's just very cute and it's very fun and it definitely like reminds me of Clueless which I really like. Also because of the elastic in the neckline, you do not have to worry about the like off the shoulder part coming up all the time. So this shirt is very similar in style to the last one. It is off the shoulder, it has kind of a more poofy sleeve, but it has buttons going down the front which you can't really see and it is black and white with like that very like popular goldenrod kind of mustardy yellow colored flowers in it. And this again is very cute because you could still wear this now because it has like that bright pop of yellow, but it could very well easily like transition into the fall and it's just I love pieces like this because they're super easy to use you can use them multiple times of the year and again because of the elastic in the neckline you don't have to worry about the entire time like your sleeves popping up or like your bra showing if you wanted to like pull it down a little bit but yeah I just think that it's very cute it's very affordable and I'm just, I'm really digging like almost everything that Wild Fable has come out with so far. Also, if you were thinking that the lavender one was just a little bit too short for you, this one is nice because it's a little bit longer and it kind of meets your jeans a little bit sooner than the other one does, which if you're kind of more worried about modesty, but you still want that cropped look, this is definitely, again, a great shirt for that. When I first saw these, I kind of freaked out because one of my favorite movies is Clueless, and I saw these and I was like, oh my god, that's like Cher's skirt that she wears at the beginning of the movie. And it did have a matching top, but they only had the shorts in plus size, whereas the shirt was in straight size. But I love these because I didn't even realize that they were actually shorts and not a skirt, which I think is kind of nice because then you don't have to really worry about wearing anything underneath. But they're very flowy, they're very comfortable. They have kind of like that cool kind of V shape to give you more of a waist up top. Yeah, I do think they're very comfortable. I really love this a lot and I want to buy this along with the matching shirt and just live my best clueless inspired life but they're very comfortable they're very flowy and they do give you kind of like that skirt effect but then you can just wear shorts and be a lot more comfortable. I also think these would be great if you were more pear shaped or more like kind of hourglass shaped in that sense because they since they are so flowy if you have a bigger hips or if you have a bigger butt it cinches in at the waist to give you that waist definition but then you still have a lot of comfort at the bottom for if you need that extra room. 
I also grabbed this just kind of plain white more boxy crop top I didn't think that I needed like another white crop top in my life but I personally think that this one is perfect it is a round neck it comes to a really good length on my arms and it's just like the perfect crop because I have some shirts that are more cropped but usually they're a little bit long or they're a little bit too tight but because of this it's got that more boxy look and it just looks great because it's just long enough to where I can tuck it into stuff or I can wear it with jeans not tucked into things and it's just such an affordable price I think this was only like eight dollars or something like that it's very thick it feels very durable and I've already washed it like two or three times because I did buy it and it's lasting a really long time which is great and because it's such like a standard piece it can really just go with anything and I think that it looks great like with these types of shorts or you can wear it with a skirt or jeans really anything and I think that just having such a standard like basic cropped piece like that is really beneficial in your wardrobe when I saw this dress on the hanger I thought that it was just very cute it kind of has like that nightgown kind of a vibe to it and that's because it, it really is it kind of feels like a very like kind of silky nightgown and it has the lace at the bottom and I do still think it's very cute I just don't I just think for my body type it just doesn't really suit it because the chest was much too big I definitely could have probably tightened up the straps a little bit and that would have helped but the chest was very big and it wasn't super tight on the stomach it was just a little bit tighter than I would have liked it because it is more of like a straight kind of up and down dress I don't think it necessarily looks bad it's just not really my vibe because if I'm already wearing something like that that's like very silky I also want it to be like comfortable or to like fit me really well and this I think just fits just okay I think it's because I'm really more of a cloth dress kind of a person but I do think it is very cute and I think it'd be very cute especially if you were taller because it would just kind of be like that very trendy nightgown kind of a look that people are going for. Now this is why I usually don't find rompers that I like a lot because I think that they can just be kind of like too big and almost too boxy. I love the color of this because it's a very pretty royal blue. I just like rompers that have a little bit more definition. Also I feel like it's just like too long maybe. It doesn't look bad but I think for how big the legs are I think that it should have a little bit more definition or like the waist should go up a little bit further. Maybe it's just the case of maybe I just need a smaller size because it does button in the front so that's why I sized up in this area but I just think that it just is very boxy and it's just not a very flattering cut on me which is why I have usually a problem with rompers and I just like them to be a little bit more cinched in or maybe just a little bit more waist defining because I think it's very comfortable and it is a very pretty color I just think that it's too big and it just doesn't really like suit me that well but I do again think that maybe if you were a little bit taller it would maybe like work out a little bit better because it would hit you like more in the right places so the jeans that did not fit were these ones these are like a very like mom jean high rise type pant they are definitely were too small they fit more of like maybe a 24 just to let you know if you were looking for like a mom jean like this that if you're more like a 24 or like more pear shaped i think they would work on you but in a size 26 on me they did not they're very distressed and they're very cute i like their style a lot it's just kind of the case of they just didn't work out on my body if you are more apple shaped i would kind of gravitate towards the more high rise skinny fit from this brand because they have more room in the stomach but the legs are much skinnier and I feel like that will just fit a little bit better. And that is everything. So with the end of me trying stuff on, this is the rest of the footage that I took of just all the stuff you can find at Wild Fable. Like it's a huge, huge collection. As I mentioned in the beginning, everything also comes into a size 14 to 26 but the majority of the stuff in plus size can be found online. and which is kind of a bummer but at least I was really pleasantly surprised to find that Target came out with a new brand and the majority of the stuff is in plus size but I did buy a couple of things that I tried on but I'm going to be doing that in a separate Target kind of a collective Target haul because I've been buying many things from Target like always but I do think that Wild Fable if you are in the size 14 to a size 26 brand even up to a size 28 I do think it is kind of worth checking out because a lot of the stuff is very stretchy some of it's not some of it is but I do think that it's totally not something that should just be written off if you aren't sure if you are in that more kind of higher 26 28 30 kind of a realm I really just recommend either going in store or buying stuff online just to try it out and see but a lot of the stuff is very cute and I think it's great if you're trying to kind of live that 90s vibe that we're all desperately grasping onto. But that was everything. I'm going to let the rest of this play out if you wanted to take a look and see all the different stuff that is there and all this place and music. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe. 
And again soon I will be having a collective Target haul of all the things that I've been buying, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, like I said. Again, my name's Renee. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.